Hey there guys, how's it going? It's Carter Sirach. I'm back with another Notion video and today's a quick practical Notion video for how to create columns easier because it's not super easy to create multiple columns and sections in Notion within your page. But in today's video, I'm hoping to bring some more clarity to that and kind of show you some examples of how you can use columns as well to make your pages more robust and more usable for you and anyone else on your team who might be using Notion. So let's jump right into it. All right, so diving right into it, we have a fresh page right here on Notion and I'm just going to call this my homepage. I'm also going to hide this sidebar, so I'm just gonna hit this close sidebar button so that I get that nice full wide screen and I can really see what my columns are looking like. Another thing to note is that you can make this page full width and you can also make it small text. There's a number of other settings that you can change right here, but these are the two main ones that you're going to want to remember if your columns are getting squeezed too small. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna turn both of these settings off here. And if we wanna create a new column, what we actually have to do is just uh, kind of give a skeleton first. So I like to do C1, stands for column one, C2, C3, and I, I just like to create as many of these as I need for columns. And then you can just drag these alongside of the C1, the C3. And you're gonna wanna do this at the beginning of when you're creating your page. Um, so you're not gonna be able to come back and do this later on. It's, it's super hard to add columns once you already have a structure of a page. You're gonna wanna start with a blank page, essentially. Column one, and as you can see, we have column two and column three. Now, let's say you wanted to add another section in Notion and you don't want this one to have the same number of columns as this first section. So this section right now has three columns, one, two, three. If we wanted to create a new section, I'm just going to write new section, and this is strictly for planning purposes. Right now, this new section is in column one. I could drag it under column two or column three, but what I wanna do is drag it down and get this nice long blue bar uh, underneath all of the columns. So now we've set up a new section. So this top section has three columns still, and then this one is a widescreen. So this will fill up this entire area. Let me enter some text to show you what I mean by this. All right, so now I have some nice text entered in here. This is just some lorem ipsum. Basically, this is what we are going to get. We have these three columns here, and then we have our new section down here that includes all of this text, and it goes all the way across the page. If we wanted to, we could create new columns below this. So let's say we wanted to do a two column section. Well, I could do C1, C2. I could drag them side by side. And now we have uh, some new sections. So I'm actually just going to steal this column one and column two, just so we have some examples. So now you've seen how to create these columns and sections, but how can you make these look a little bit nicer? Well, I'm about to show you. What I like to do is create like a call out up here. I believe that's what it's called. So if I go slash call out, yeah, it'll pop up like this, and it's this block that you wanna select. So if I hit call out, this creates this nice little title instead of the old column two, column three text, we're gonna have these nice little titles and they can have emojis along with them. So maybe this one is my mission and I could throw that in bold and I could even change the color if I wanted to. Then I'm just going to click here and hit duplicate and I'm just gonna pull this over to my other columns. So now if you look at my Notion account, I have uh, these placeholders here for these different titles and I could come in here and write whatever I want for this section and Text isn't the only thing that you can include in a column. We could also add some toggle lists So I would just hit slash toggle list and this is great for like an FAQ So if I wanted to have an FAQ on my home page, I could do that and I could put the question and then within it if I hit the drop down I could put an answer and we could just hit enter from here and we could create question two, enter again, question three, question four, and so on. Another cool thing about these columns is you could also add like a menu in here if you wanted to, and you could dynamically link this menu to the other pages. So let me show you what I mean by that. I had a full video on this, so if you want a more in-depth explanation on synced blocks, you can check out the link up in the right corner of this video. But I'm gonna show a quick version here. So what you would do, 
is you hit slash and then you create a synced block. So you're gonna wanna type synced and this synced block here is what you want. You want this red outline. And then within that, I could create some pages. So we have maybe a home page, and then I would come back over here and I'd create another page. But if it's not letting you create a page in the sync block, just create one outside of it and then you can drag it in. So we'll have another page in there. Just make sure it's within that red line. And then I'm also going to duplicate these. So we might have a home page and then we might also have like our tasks page. And I could put a database on here if I wanted to and I could start tracking tasks. Then maybe we have a page for groceries and a page for all of my plants to keep track of what needs watered. And these could all have their own separate databases. But the nice thing about the synced block is we can actually duplicate it and put it in multiple locations. So if I wanted to, I could click on this synced block, hit copy and sync, and then I could go over to my tasks page. And now I'm gonna create some columns over here, C1, C2, I'm gonna make sure that that's lined up. And then we have our tasks here. I can change the width here and then I can paste my synced table here and boom, now I have a menu on my tasks page. I'm gonna get rid of that C1 and here I could just create a tasks database. If you don't already have a tasks database, I created a whole video on how to create a robust to-do list in Notion, so check out that video. Again, I will have that linked up in the right corner of this video right now. Another thing to note, you're gonna to wanna to make your homepage, whatever your homepage is. So if I want this particular page to be my homepage, I'm gonna to wanna to delete this one out of here because that's just a um, placeholder and I'm going to want to link it. So link to page link to page, find home. And now it's going to make the current page that we're on right now, our home page. And as you can see, it will pull up this backlink. So now that that's backlinked, you can click on your home page and that will just take you to your home page, obviously. But if I wanted to go over to tasks, now I can go back to my home page and I can toggle between these two because of that synced block. All right, that's that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this one. I've got tons of other Notion videos that are going to pop up on the screen to the left of me right now. You can check out that entire playlist and I'm sure that you won't have any questions once you go through this on how to use Notion. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next one.